Hi everyone, this is size 10 stretch chunk hook and the thread I'm using is block A2. So I will start below the eye, touch and turn. I'll explain all the material as I go along. Keep going around the bend. That's enough. I'm going to add a red holographic tag in the, um, the tail end. In general, a uh, normal pattern, general one is you use, uh, sorry, the original pattern you use silver color, but I'm just I'm doing a variation. So basically, Just bring that up. And secure that. And then go back towards the tuck. I'm just going to add UV raisins just to secure this, not too much. That's enough. Tail. <coughs> I'm using is a glow bright. This is number 12 uh, fluoro green and also number 5 hot orange. So this is the tail. So I'm gonna, I took about two foot long strand and then fold it to about four times. And you can use smaller, if you're using a smaller hook, you can use less. You can fold it less. So basically, just catch the orange one first and then the green one on the top. A couple of turns, see if it's sitting okay. That should be okay. Just a body length. And then use your touch and turn to hide all this material. Keep going. Not very close to the high. Just about few millimeters before the eye so we can have more hako in the front so I just want a clean eye so that should be okay and for catching the rib, uh, sorry, the huckle, I'm using a golden oval tinsel. So I'm going to catch it again. Okay, body for the dubbing, I'm going to be using and then black sparkle. And uh, this is synthetic one. So. I'm just trying to put on the thread, not twisting too much. So I'm going to go first wrap and then just work my way as I'm coming along.
take your time okay so that's your dubbing okay this is a hen hako and dyed block so basically catch this one Make sure you secure this properly. Just take off this stem and then gently just wrap this around. just make sure everything is setting properly so and just leave enough gob in fact the best idea would be to use your hako plier I find it very easy now keep going one more and that's enough and then cut it with the tinsel rape material and then come back to secure each turn Pull everything back, all the hako, and then catch this. Now secure this properly. And cut this off. <coughs> Just work with the head so we can have a okay for the shoulder we normally use brown or different color but I'm using this is a pheasant body this is a dyed, dyed red so I'm taking one from the shoulder so as you can see they are like a nice and shiny one so I just took one we need about one maximum two turn on this one so I can just catch this one just take this tape out and then pull everything back just catch it from the tip take your time again now make sure you secure this one properly and then cut this off now they'll be lo longer but they look really nice right okay and just stroke it one side And then catch it just a couple of them are sticking out but don't worry also take this one off Right, uh, I'm going to use the same hen hako, the one I used on the body, and uh, 
and just cut it from the tip and try to get a little larger feather than the body one. So you, and so if you just cut it, fold everything back. And just cut, take this and then stroke them one side. Until they get properly one sided, you know, then start winding them, they'll be a lot easier. Keep going. And I'm going to catch them here. Few turn, fold everything back, and nice head. And we finish. go that's it like one of the variation and uh, it looks nice with these longer hackle it just works as well actually that's my variation so I hope you do like it <coughs> before I check everything just gonna varnish the varnish the head and then So there we have one of my variation of Clan Chief Bumble. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for watching.